Today we're going to do some uh, some more sheet metal uh, functionality. I've had a request for uh, taking a look at some transitional sheet metal going from a, uh, a square or rectangular to a circular uh, sketch uh, in the end. And in this one we're going to be using a um, sheet metal loft actually uh, to take care of this and making sure that we get the bin lines also. So uh, this is the end product, what we're going to be looking at. This is actually two halves of the circle. You can see where they've been joined together. Uh, we can right click on here and do a flatten and actually get a uh, preview uh, pretty quickly of a uh, of the flat pattern you see at the edges of the rectangle uh, how all those bends start out and then of course you get all the bend lines here as well um, now the next the question is, is how do we get to this point so that's what this video is going to be as a walkthrough so I'm going to start off uh, really quickly with a sketch and we're just going to start with a part uh, I'm going to start with the top plane and I'm going to start with the easy one first which is just the rectangle and using a couple of quick references uh, make a midpoint relationship we're going to give this thing a uh, 20 inch width and this is a 9 inch bottom so we're going to split the difference and tell it that we want it to be 4.5 and I'm going to take and I'm going to make this line a construction line and I'm going to put in a couple of uh, fillets here uh, just the smallest is fine, a point one is okay just to give me some roundness so SolidWorks will actually bend this uh, create a uh, sheet metal function so there's my first sketch that's pretty simple now the key to this is making sure that you have the same number of sketch entities uh, in each one of these uh, sketches and as you can see here I've got one two counting the fillet three four and five uh, here so whenever we draw the circular part of this uh, on another plane we gotta make sure that we have five sketch entities uh, in that sketch as well so let's go ahead and close this uh, I'm gonna go back to let's change this to plain white I'm going to go to my top plane again, this time go in and add a plane and we'll just tell that plane um, to be let's say 36 inches away from this uh, part and you see we have an offset plane pretty quick. Um, I'm going to start a sketch there on that plane. Let's go normal too. I'm going to start here at my origin and uh, give myself a, uh, a pretty nice arc here and like that and then we'll uh, let's go back normal to on this thing I want to uh, make sure that my center point here and my origin are actually um, horizontal I'm going to go in and create a line and I'm going to use my inference lines there to make sure that this line is tangent with uh, with this section and I'm going to also draw a line here and make sure it's tangent as well and you can make sure these are tangent pretty quickly by selecting see I need to put a tangent relationship there and select here and you see there I've got a tangent relationship already available there so we're going to we're going to place a couple of restraints on here I'm going to make a vertical there and I'll make sure that this and this are uh, horizontal and let's put a couple of dimensions and we're going to use a, um, a 30 inch radius on this and the small sections here really can be as small as you'd like for them to be. They don't have to have any kind of size to them. We're going to use a, uh, a, point, uh, a point 0.5 here just for the sake of, of using that at this point in time. And again here a point 0.5. So they're going to be pretty small. Um, make that top line horizontal and it'll fully define our, our part. Now at this point we're going to take and draw a, uh, a center line uh, 
uh, from this section just a little piece down and I'm going to do a mirror and I'm going to mirror these components and I mirrored them about that center line so you see we did that pretty quickly um, now I'm going to go in and I'm going to remove this 0.5 and I'm actually going to put another dimension on there for the whole thing to be a 0.5 instead of that being uh, one inch and you can go in there if you'd like and put a center line across there point to point and click OK now at that point we're going to do a, uh, a, a sheet metal loft we're just going to go to sheet metal do a lofted bend and we know that that's necessary so we're going to select the end point. Now another thing that's important here is making sure that you select the, end, the same side. And if you select here and then go over to this side, you're going to get a twisted profile. So you want to make sure that you select here and then we're going to zoom in and make sure we select the end point of our sketch here. I'm going to back it back out so you can see. I'm actually going to um, tell it that I want to uh, of course you can just specify your thickness here and you can specify the number of bin lines so in this case we're just going to tell it that we want 10 bin lines uh, 10 hits on that particular uh, curve from that corner of the curve and I'm going to click OK to accept it now I'm going to hide that plane so it'll be out of our way now like I said this is the half of it I'm going to take that flatten it you see there that you have your bin lines and everything flattens out uh, the way it's supposed to. Now, if I take that, let's go ahead and save this part. And I'm going to just save this as half. I'm going to go right in and do a drawing for this part. And we're just going to put it on the B size second page. And I'm just going to drag in the flat pattern here. And I'm going to tell it that I want to uh, rotate that view. Uh, let's go 90 degrees. Now let's go 270 so we can rotate it around flat. And uh, let's change the scale on this from L to 1 to 4. 1 to 4 may be too large. 1 to 8 is good. And at 1 to 8, you can see there pretty quickly uh, I've taken and made it a flat part and you have each one of your bends you have how uh, how much the angle is that they're bent as they go up and these bends actually add up 290 uh, so you actually get the curvature that you're looking for 90 degrees uh, around the uh, curvature of your part on each side so I hope this has helped. Uh, this is uh, this is pretty neat with SolidWorks being able to go in and put in the uh, the transition between a rectangle sketch and a uh, round um, circular sketch. So uh, pretty good transitional capabilities here with SolidWorks. I hope this has helped. Uh, for more information, you can go and visit us at www.secrettech.com, or you can call us at 501. 835-6868. Thank you and have a great day.